So uh, we're here today. What is the event we're here for? Uh, it's just a RCMP open house that we're having for uh, the Vailmont detachment. Um, we've hosted similar events in the McBride uh, detachment as well. And uh, unfortunately, we hadn't had one in Vailmont in a while, so we're happy to host one here. It's just an opportunity for the community to come out and meet the detachment members uh, on a one-on-one -on -one basis and, and uh, gives the detachment members a chance to interact with the public and get to meet the community that they're serving and uh, also show off some of the other uh, uh, wares that we have uh, available to us that uh, people may forget um, since we're in a small town like Vailmount. Uh, obviously we have our Prince George dog service in town here today uh, doing some demos with uh, one of their uh, PDS units, uh, police dog service, and they also have a pup along with them today. We have our uh, forensic identification section here doing some demonstrations on uh, fingerprinting and uh, forensic analysis, and then our Robson uh, Valley uh, Home Support Services, which also facilitates our RCMP victim services uh, for people that are in need in uh, crisis and also provide safe shelter to communities. And then we're happy to have uh, many other partners here as well. Uh, North District Traffic Services in town today. We have uh, some members from the McBride detachment here. And then, of course, all our local Vailmont members uh, interacting with the public. And, of course, the barbecue. Uh, some burgers and hot dogs and cake uh, to uh, enjoy the day. Great. Well, it looks like a turn good turnout. Are you happy with the turnout? So far, uh, because we haven't had one of these in a while, we didn't know uh, what to expect. Uh, whether we'd get 20 or 200 or 500, it was uh, a bit of a roll of the dice. But uh, so far, we're really happy with the turnout. I'm a member of the Forensic Identification Services out of Prince George. And my job is to attend crime scenes and to search for evidence and document that evidence. So uh, upon primary attendance, I'll take photographs of the crime scene and that's just going to show where the person broke in, where they went through the residence and that's going to show what what everything looked like before we started looking for our evidence. At one of the places I'm going to start looking is at the point of entry which is usually a broken window or a door and uh, hopefully the point of entry is a nice smooth glass surface and I'll look for my fingerprints by running my fingerprint powder over that surface. Uh, other things we like to look at are glass objects or plastic objects and a favorite is glass like liquor bottles or beer bottles like this and if I could get you to touch this bottle for me please thank you so what we'll do is I'm going to use a contrasting powder I'm going to use a light powder on this black background because then it'll contrast and I'll be able to see it and I'll run my powder all over the bottle looking for my evidence <laughs> and I'm in luck I can see right there that there are four fingerprint impressions on this bottle and what I do next is I'm going to mark them with little scales and then I'm going to photograph them to preserve them and I'm going to lift them also to preserve them and in order to, the, to do that I'm going to use a fingerprint lifter of a contrasting color from the fingerprint powder that I used so that I can see them against the background. So I've used a white powder on this dark bottle and I'm going to use a black fingerprint lifter so that I can see the white fingerprints against the black bottle. And then I'm going to preserve them by running this lifter over my bottle and I want to get rid of all the air bubbles. So that I can see them clearly against the background. I'm going to lift them right off the bottle. I'm going to use my roller. I'm going to seal them right up. And then this is my evidence that I'm going to take to court, hopefully one day when I catch the bad guy, and tell the judge, these are the fingerprints of my bad guy, Your Honor. And that's my job. Great. Can I have it back? <laughs> you can have your fingerprints. <laughs> Thanks for your help. <laughs> uh, we have our own breeding program with the RCMP. Um, we, we use our, like our successful police dogs uh, with some of our brood females which she may turn out to be, this uh, little Francis. You can take her out and do some stuff. I'll just take her out, let her run around. Um, 
<clears throat> so we breed them together. They find uh, the traits they're looking for in the male and the female. Uh, and they breed them together and they send the pups out at this seven weeks old. So she's, she's 12 weeks old, this little Francis. <clears throat> and uh, all, our, all our pups last year that got trained were from our breeding program uh, in Innisfail. They're all breeding program dogs. So there's all our own uh, in-house basically. So all the stuff we're doing right now, like we teach our dogs to be, to answer or to respond to our hand commands as well as our voice so that they, they hear from, they can do, if we're in an operation where we have to be silent, obviously we can get our dog to do what we want them to do from a distance with uh, just our hand signals. Had a guy. Had a butt. Throw. Oh, down. Down. Yes. Sit. Stay. That a guy had a bud. That a guy. So everything he's doing right now is for his ball. He's rewarding for his ball. He doesn't really care that you guys are all standing there, does he? He's all looking at me still. He's looking at his ball. Oh. There. Oh, down. Yes. No. Down. Stay. No. Sit. Stay. Yo. <laughs> Sit. Stay. No. Hey, there. Yeah. You're new to Velma. Why don't you introduce yourself and tell us uh, where you're from and uh, anything else you'd like to say about arriving in Velma? Uh, it's uh, Sergeant Darren Warshello. Um, we've been in Velma now for about uh, four weeks. Uh, we just moved here from Hudson's Hope. It uh, is a new post for us. We're very excited to be here. Um, of all the places I've been posted, this is actually our southernmost post so far. So uh, warm, warm climate. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, we actually looked at coming to Valmont uh, quite a few years ago um, when we were leaving uh, a previous post in Houston and at that time the RCMP saw fit to transfer me to Mackenzie which we thoroughly enjoyed our time there and then from Mackenzie we moved on to Hudson's Hope the um, we were there for four years and when the job opportunity uh, came up in Valmont I uh, jumped at the opportunity to apply for it uh, because we know we have uh, been through the area it's beautiful and we've had other friends that have lived in the community that highly recommend it said the people are fantastic and friendly and very happy to be here. Great, and you're here with your family. Did you want to introduce them? Yes, uh, my wife Debbie, um, and uh, we have four children uh, Isabella, Elena, uh, Daniel, and Braden. Uh, they're all school age, so uh, I know uh, both principals were happy when we came to town uh, that uh, they'll have four new students uh, in uh, between the two schools next year. And uh, they're quite active with quite a few other events as well hockey and figure skating and karate and uh, a bunch of other community events. These are our, some of the training tools we use. <clears throat> it's more so for when we're taking bites. Um, it's we don't get hurt. He's not supposed to let go, okay? Uh, he won't let go until we tell him to let go. Um, but these are, you put your arm in and you, and you actually hold on to a little bar in the bottom. Uh, they're heavy enough, but there's padding. It's for our protection and it's got the actual, for uh, like the right, um, angles for a German Shepherd's mouth. Oh. There's ones you can get for that are shorter for like a Doberman or for a, a pit bull or whatever. And then we, we start them training on this and we move out to a, a hidden sleeve. So it's a lot less padding and it's more realistic bite. And we have it hidden underneath the coat so that they can't really see it. Because this is obviously you can see it very, very easily. Recently there's been a change with uh, the RCMP situation in Belmont and McBride. Can you talk about that? Yes, uh, the uh, Belmont detachment used to consist of two different units. The general duty unit, which responded to most of the calls for policing. And then the traffic unit, which was a dedicated unit that just spent time on the highway doing traffic enforcement. Um, and then McBride detachment 
detachment was its own separate entity. Uh, what we've done is both detachments have been blended together into the Robson Valley Regional RCMP with a detachment remaining in Vailmont and a detachment remi remaining in McBride. Um, I'm actually going to be the sergeant in charge of both units and we'll be uh, spearheading uh, operations uh, both in Vailmont and McBride. And we've absorbed the traffic unit uh, into our fold as well. So now instead of having a distinct traffic unit that uh, is just dedicated to the highway and not responding to other calls, we've got a larger group of membership <clears throat> that are going to do both roles. And the idea is it will keep um, the members more refreshed. It'll be uh, less stressful on them in terms of uh, taxing their time and hours because they were run a little thin. And uh, by this new model, we should be able to have a lot more community involvement like we're having here today. And at the same time, uh, have all the members do traffic enforcement in the area because we do live in a fairly high crash corridor area. And uh, ultimately, our goal is public safety, whether it be in town or whether it be on the highways. And uh, we want to reduce our crash picture. And <clears throat> the best way to do that is usually through contact with the public on the highway when uh, they're not necessarily behaving themselves. <laughs> But you don't get many people asking to go in. No, no. Get lost wanting out. Yeah. <laughs> Anything else you'd like to add? Uh, no, I'm just happy uh, with the turnout here so far today and uh, uh, look forward to uh, meeting with uh, everyone in the community and uh, working with uh, the other community leaders uh, over the next several years. Well, welcome to Belmont. Thank you very much. Thank you.